For so many people, this is their spiritual home. Because of that, one wants to nourish it and keep it alive so that it can really be a place where there's harmony and where there's peacefulness and where the fruits of wisdom and loving kindness can spread and permeate all arenas in oneself and those whom we know, our beloveds and our friends and family, and then people we don't know. Well, people we don't know, the center is here um, to benefit those whom we don't know because of our aspirations in our practice. I, I often feel gratitude, and I think about the roots and beginnings uh, of, the, of this effort and how uh, the teachers uh, started with almost nothing taught where they could in little public spaces with uh, the beginnings of a Sangha and how we've come to a place that has roots in the community, and has been improved uh, over time, is a, a great loving environment for people to come together and practice. It's, it's a great thing to have a place that you can call your spiritual home. My understanding is that the teachings are freely given and that's what the Buddha offered and that's what our teachers have offered to us to an extraordinary degree. And that to me embodies what is also a great virtue in Buddhism, which is generosity of spirit. And sometimes I think it's easy to think of that in just a very ethereal way, which is you do good deeds or you, think you have metta, all of which is wonderful. But sometimes it really does translate into more material things, which is the generosity of giving even money, when that's what's needed to keep the teachings freely offered to everybody. And so in terms of supporting the center in its long-term vision, you know, creating a more stable institution, something that people can rely on and know that it's going to be here in 10 or 20 years, the endowment is going to play a crucial role in that. The endowment would give us a level of stability uh, so that we wouldn't have to spend so much time uh, every year trying to raise money uh, to take care of the deficit that happens every year because we insist and will continue to insist that no one will ever be turned away. We are hoping that people will give to the endowment because this is a place that they love. So it's really a search inside of yourself. What does the center mean to you? What have the teachings meant to you? What do these teachers mean to you? What, what has this place been for you? And so then to reflect, ah, is it a refuge? Yeah. And when one looks, I, I want this center to continue for generations. So how can I support the center? Well, this is one way, through the endowment, for future people to learn the Dharma. What a, what a gift. What a gift. It will, you know, the Dharma has a life. For now, can we continue the teachings in this way? <laughs>